Hmm. Yeah, maybe we can reflect a little bit on yesterday, what you thought about it. Hmm. I lost something here. Not here. So, yeah, it was quite a um, interesting day. We have quite some issues with the differences between all of these different clusters and sites and so on. And unfortunately, there's not a really easy answer there. So ideally, things would be similar. And really, under the hood, things are quite similar. It's all running Linux. It's all learn running Slurm. It's all running CentOS. But mm, but in reality, well, who, who is it that was saying this? Like every site thinks, oh, we can make it a little bit easier for our users. So everyone changes things a little bit. And that leads to the case where it's really hard to teach to everyone at the same time. And I wish there was some sort of better solution to this, but I mean, we could try to adapt our material so it fits every site, like it says what the differences are, but I'm not sure if that's yeah. really a like, yeah. sustainable I, I think it, way. Yeah, and at the same time, like I, I highly recommend like trying to take the, how would I say it, like the general, uh, general what, it, what, it, what is common uh, in what we are talking and, and trying to get a grasp on that. Because like basically it's this kind of a situation where like if you go to a kitchen you don't necessarily know where the like if you want to cook some food mm -hmm. and you when go to your friend's apartment or somewhere you don't mm -hmm. know where they put their like pans and pots guess so they might be near a stove, stove or somewhere around there and like mm -hmm. you might open so a few cupboards you might find wrong cupboards like stuff is in the wrong, like wrong place yeah. in your mind like because in your apartment everything is is set perfectly like everything is set to your standards and your way and and you're yeah. accustomed to it but of course like some other sites some other uh, kitchen might have the stuff arranged a bit differently but you still know that they're probably there mm -hmm. like if it's a if it's like, a working kitchen it's, it still has the pans and the pots that you yeah. need so so you can work with that like it's it just like yeah. dealing with the minutia of the details and and uh, that is, uh, you sh shouldn't let yourself get too much uh, nerd sniped by the uh, by the details, and yeah. just like try to get the general uh, feeling of um, yeah of the underlying tools. Yeah, like that would be sort of my long term plan. Like realize we can't we can't make a truly interactive workshop for everyone, because then we start spending more and more time. Um, like explaining what these differences are, but if we can somehow show one example and explain the concepts more, then everyone's equipped to go read the documentation. There was one feedback from yesterday that said something like, um, do you expect for us to remember all of these commands and then go read some long documentation to do things? Well. It said and, so I'm not quite sure what the question was there, but yeah, really like we don't expect you to remember everything we're typing right now. It's just not possible and we're doing it quickly and all. But we do hope that you can see a demo of it and then you're equipped to go to the other documentation and then read it and refresh yourself when you need to. And thus like all of our other conversation about how we think about things is thus the more important part than the actual thing we're typing. So even if you aren't at Alto, hopefully you can see these other, like see the general stuff we're doing. And even if you don't do the exercises and can't because things are somehow different. Um, and also about like remembering the documentation, I'd, I want to mention that like even uh, we don't remember all of that stuff. Like like we have better better things to remember than yeah. than all of the minutia of the actual like, what was the 
like command line arguments for these specific command like like you can look it up and uh, like i personally do it all the time so i i have often googled for a question and it has pointed us to our documentation where i have written the documentation <laughs> and i haven't even like remembered okay i i have written this because like like you don't once you have lots of the like the small details and special cases and stuff like that it's it's usually better to spend your time like just knowing that there is a special case and then just okay i will need to look up what where the like special rules that you need to do so it's like yeah. like if you're a um, like a flight pilot like they have these emergency mm -hmm. books like for all kinds of situations like when they have like an emergency they open the book and then they look look up what what instructions should i do in these kind of situations because mm -hmm. like no you wouldn't like it's a complex machine, like uh, flying a plane, and there's so many different situations that one can uh, go into, like when you're flying a plane, that like nobody <laughs> should expect the pilot to learn every situation by heart. Of course, they learn about the general practice, or general like how things behave and how things are related in, let's say, a plane. But they don't yeah. like it's it's absurd to think that everybody could learn all of the s small details, and that's why I highly recommend like going back to the material and also if the material is bad mm -hmm. just letting us know about it because that, then like <laughs> yeah. we might even not notice that something might be amiss there uh, so so it's, it's like this ongoing process yeah. and it's, it's better to like just go with the flow than and just uh, mm -hmm. too, too deeply ingrain yourself that i should remember everything yeah that's now how it usually works yeah, like, in, in, like in real real work you can't like remember everything it's it's impossible there's too much details yeah i mean really our main benefit is we're able to search for stuff faster um so yeah so today if you notice like if we're talking about something that you think is not relevant and you wish we would just go faster just immediately in the hack MD, write down, can you move on, or this is not good, or whatever. Or if it's too complex or confusing. But by the same token, if something is good, then let us know, because otherwise we just hear the bad parts. Um, let's see. Mm. And then... What else? Yeah, and today, well, first off today, we'll, what we'll be doing is just much more suitable for many examples. So on day one, there wasn't much hands-on stuff to do. On day two, it was all getting ready and not many examples until the very end. And now we can hopefully do a lot more examples and demos. Um, but still, I, th I do. we do agree with some of the comments that we need to base this more on showing things rather than saying things. But... Mm, yeah, it can be yeah. difficult to make this work. Yeah, it's too fast should we start yeah. showing things. And yeah. 